My name is Petter, I'm studying Applied Physics at NTNU, and this is the story of my final year at university. A few days ago, I returned from the International Space University's Space Studies program, which was in Cork, Ireland. It was amazing. Uh, I'm a bit late to start the semester here, uh, but right now I'm on my way up to campus to sign the contract for my project assignment. I get the contract signed by my supervisor at my institute. Uh, I'm super excited about that because I've been living in uncertainty about this for about three or four months. It finally sorted itself out. Uh, and the real work will, will start next week uh, because I'll have to wait for my external supervisor to get back. So stay tuned for that. Confession time. What you just saw was almost four weeks ago. And since then, progress has been slow. Like really slow. But now it's a new week uh, and uh, at the end of this week we have my favorite thing which is a deadline uh, because in December there's gonna be like a small satellite conference in Rome in Italy. Uh, so if I want to go there and present my product thesis and get travel support from the Norwegian Space Center I have to complete my abstract at least during this week. This is it guys. This is my uh, workstation uh, where I'll be sitting and uh, working, uh, hence the name, on my project thesis. Uh, it's a bit inconvenient because I have this uh, microphone here and it's like I have to sit like this or like it's, it's kind of like blocking my access to the keyboard. Uh, I guess I could just move it to like here or something. Yeah, problem fixed. Thanks guys. Thanks. That was a good good advice there. Yeah, I, I'm kind of cheating. I have artificial light hair just to make myself look better. I made all of this research into possible CubeSat propulsion technologies. I also have some more mundane things to be doing like cleaning the kitchen and the common areas. So, let's join me. Let's join me? Seriously? Is that even an expression? It doesn't sound right to me. And uh, just one minute after uh, I turned off the camera in the kitchen, uh, the fire alarm went off because somebody burned something in the oven. Uh, so that was a pretty intense scene that you missed. It was so cool. You really should have been there. I just realized I forgot to hand in uh, the project contract, uh, which I should have done uh, probably a long time ago. Uh, so I'll head up to my institute to deliver it at the office there. You, you don't really have to follow me, I can do this by myself. But yeah, feel free to come along if, if you want, but that's okay too. Okay, that went uh, pretty well actually. People are really super chill about this kind of stuff. And it was lucky that I got there today because it turns out there's gonna be an info meeting uh, tomorrow uh, where I should be. I always try to make a point of eating some uh, freshly baked uh, bread with uh, caviar before going to info meetings about my project thesis. It's delicious. And this video is sponsored by Mills, um, a supplier of uh, my favorite uh, caviar. While I'm out, I might as well also go to the library to uh, deliver some uh, movies that I borrowed there, as well as probably pick up some new ones. Uh, I had uh, these ones for a while now, all pretty cool movies. Instead of borrowing books, I really want to uh, like try to stay up to date with uh, modern technology. That's uh, why I don't really like books at all. They don't really contribute to, to humanity as a whole, I think. A pretty useful info meeting uh, with lots of uh, interesting information and useful information and it was uh, really cool to be there with all the other people people who are uh, writing their projects uh, right now uh, because we've all finished four out of five years of this uh, master's degree only one left and uh, yeah uh, we just have to nail this project and then the master thesis itself and uh, yeah, we really get this feeling that let's just do it. We can we can make this, guys. And I really started considering uh, stop working at home and go uh, to school every day to work instead, uh, because it's something about being in that environment. Uh, we have this place called uh, Physiklan, and for the non-Norwegian speaking uh, people out there amongst my audience, that means physics land, uh, which sounds like an amusement park, uh, which it basically is. It's basically just a group of people sitting in a room uh, doing physics, which they all love. I actually got up at 7 sharp today, uh, now it's 8 approximately, uh, I'm almost done with breakfast and everything and I'm ready to set off to uh, Physiklan.
that was a pretty efficient day actually, most efficient I've been in uh, in a really long time. So I'll definitely go back there uh, some other day to to work there. I'll make it part of my daily routine actually. And now I have like one and a half hours to eat uh, dinner, and then I'll have to back, head back to campus for acting practice, which is tons of fun. <clears throat> so uh, a little bit slower start today. It's uh, almost half past nine. Uh, but I'm almost done here, so I'll head up to campus in a minute or two. That's really hot, actually. I'm not really sure if I want to go to school today. It's so much work, like, staying there, doing work on awesome CubeSat propulsion systems, and... No, actually, it's pretty awesome. I'll have to go there. Yeah, let's do this. <laughs> Another day well done. Actually, this is a much more pleasant way to be living. You go to school, you do your work there, then you go back home and you're free, basically. As a matter of fact... I might have discovered the secret to being happy. Or That's actually a pretty bold statement though. I might have to adjust that. I'll probably just ask my editors to remove this part, I think. Morning, I got. Uh, so it's now 8.45 approximately, uh, exactly 8.45 actually. Uh, and uh, the plan for the day is A, apply to some internships at ESA, the European Space Agency. Uh, B, uh, watch Elon Musk's presentation from the International Astronautical Congress. C, uh, I think you guessed it already, the project thesis. Now, uh, before you judge me, uh, I ran out of food up at uh, the university, so I had to get back home, uh, make an omelette and just get some more energy, and then I'll head back up soon to keep on working. I promise. It's Saturday already. Uh, this week really flew by, uh, and it's now 3.30 in the day. Uh, I haven't really done much today, uh, because I was up late last night editing this video. Today I'll head up to school uh, to stay there for a few hours. I'm, I'm bringing some food with me, and I'll just uh, stay there working until I run out of that. Camera is set, audio is set, that's all good. Here we go. I don't really have anything to say actually, uh, so good night. Yep, it's uh, still uh, me. Uh, I'm gonna go cut my hair today over at a friend of mine. Uh, and then there's actually this big photo shoot today of all the different subgroups and committees inside the student organization. So that took the better part of a day, uh, but it was a lot of fun. I uh, met a lot of cool people who were inside there to take photos. And uh, now it's just uh, like cleaning up all the mess. We are what we're supposed to be. All dots and lines that speak and say. Frame by frame to the extreme. We came out of a crazy mind. Oh, uh, oh and uh, uh, what am I using as a tripod at the moment? Try to guess, you have two seconds to figure, figure it out. It's actually a top hat. Uh, that's pretty cool, right? Yeah, I think it is pretty cool. Yep, time to get back. So, well, let's get this. Ah. Yeah, got it. I almost forgot this thing here, which would have been a disaster. Personally, I'm a fan of not talking in elevators because I enjoy the awkward silences that you can get in them. Uh, but right now, uh, I'm the only one here, so it doesn't really count. Actually, since I took the elevator from fifth floor until like uh, the base, the underground fourth floor, I noticed like the pressure exchange, the pressure difference in my air. This is probably one of my favorite room in the whole campus. Yeah, there we go. So yeah, this is basically the storage area of the student review that I'm in. Uh, so we have lots of cool costumes here. Uh, I used that one like a few years ago for a comedy skit or sketch or whatever. We have some. Uh, shrimp costumes up there, uh, but yeah, time. And the, the thing is, if the door is open for too long, you hear this noise, so you'll have to like click this button, and then it stops. 
Uh, oh, and while I'm here, I realized uh, one kind of awkward thing, uh, which is uh, we borrowed this storage area for uh, Space of Norway uh, already in March, uh, just to like keep some stuff there for a few days. That's about, it's more than half a year ago, actually, and I still haven't picked up the last things. Uh, so I'll bring that back now. Sorry, uh, now bladder wind. That won't happen again, I promise. Mm. Okay, that's all. So it wasn't that bad, actually. Uh, and yeah, I really like this uh, drawing here, uh, which shows uh, uh, Sputnik. Uh, we have like a drawing corner. <laughs> okay, this is one of my favorites, like the penguin in a rocket. That's so yeah, that's just, I don't really need this one anymore. Don't mind me here, I'm just trying to enjoy some cinematic uh, lighting. I'll also try to use these videos to give some filmmaking advice. First one is, what's the best lens for vlogging? And in fact, the only thing you should consider is what gives you the most blurry background, because that makes your footage look extremely professional. And that concludes episode one of this. Uh, I hope it might become a series. Uh, it's, a f it's a lot of fun to make videos like this and I hope to use it as an excuse to keep making videos during this fall. And the deadline I mentioned in the beginning of this video has actually been, been postponed by two whole weeks. Uh, but the deadline had a really good effect. Uh, it made me uh, focus my work this week, find a working routine. And now I'm not really worried over for the next weeks because I know that I'm capable of uh, producing something every day which is a good thing. So thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.